Take one man with an iron sense of justice. Put him in a lonesome canyon with a desperate killer. That's our story, Trail's End, taken from the files of John Steele, adventurer. friends, this is John Steele. If you like stories of suspense and action, you've come to the right place. Because our specialty is curling hair and wearing out the edges of seats. This week's tale takes us out to the empty prairies of the far west, where a good friend of mine lived a very absorbing story. I first met George Brennan when I was managing the White Swan Cafe out in Silverton. But here he is to tell you about it himself. George? I guess being sheriff's about the most thankless job a man could ask for. Don't make no difference how good you are at it. Seems there's always someone talking behind your back or taking offense at something you've done. At least that's the way it was in my county. I'd been sheriff of Dawson County for 15 years. Good one, too. I always believed there was a right and a wrong to everything, and all you had to do was recognize them as was good and them as was bad. That's the way I ran things. Seems strange, though, that... For all my years as sheriff, there wasn't a man in the county I could call a friend. You take that night a while back, I dropped into the White Swan just to check up before calling it a day. Hello, John. Uh, oh, hello, George. Everything quiet? <laughs> yeah, all under control. I just thought I'd I know. Do. Yeah. Well, this is where most of the trouble starts in the town, you know. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. Take my word for it, I know. <laughs> okay, have it your way. Care for a drink? Yeah, I guess I got time. May? May, want to get the sheriff a drink? Uh, sure, Mr. Steele. Hello, George. Hello, May. What'll it be? Whiskey. Coming up. Excuse me, George. May will take care of him. Sure, thanks. Anytime. There you are. Thanks. Where you been? Didn't see you for a couple of days. Just busy, I guess. Another woman? You know that's not true, May. <laughs> I was just kidding. Oh. You're always so serious. The sheriff has to be. I know, I know. So when are you going to start enjoying life, George? Now, May. Okay, okay, but it seems to We've me... We've been all over this. Okay. The sheriff doesn't have time. To... I know, George. Maybe if you would... <laughs> now, don't start that either. Well, I mean it. Of course you do. This is no life for you. George. A good-looking woman like you should have a home and kids and... Please. You'll never listen to me. It isn't that. Yes, it is. You're a fine man in lots of ways, George, but... I know. <sighs> well, if you ever decide not to take life so seriously, let me know, huh? Okay, man. Hey, what's going on down there? Oh, just that young Reynolds kid. You been drinking again? Now, George. Looks like I'm going to have to teach that pup a lesson. They'll settle it by themselves. What's going on here? It's nothing, George. Come on, what happened? I saw him. I saw him do it. Crazy. Do what? He took one off the bottom I of the deck. I was that. Wait a car. minute, wait a minute. I had a jack down and a queen Get showing up. and he... All right, now, what happened? Well, he says... You I first, one. Harry. I had a jack and I a queen... I heard that. Yeah, well, he had a four and a three shown, and he drew another three off the bottom of the deck. We can settle this, George. What do you got to say, Reynolds? Oh, he's crazy. I was dead. You're a pretty car. smart kid, aren't you? I'm telling you, you I was think dead. you know all the answers. Huh? I've been watching you, Reynolds. Yeah, but did... and I know you're kind. What do you mean? When a kid's got bad blood, and now, him... wait a minute. Take it easy, Tommy. He can't say that about Let me. Let me handle. You stay out of this, John. Tommy just had one too many, George. I know his kind. This can be settled among ourselves. When they're bad, they're bad. What are you going to do? couple of months in jail. Or That's not fix. the way. Don't give me any more arguments, John. I'm the law in this county, and I know what's right and what's wrong. Okay, Sheriff. Come along, Reynolds. I didn't want to get the kid Come in on. no trouble. Hey, where's the sheriff? The sheriff in here? Over here, Sam. Hey, there's been a shoot. Where? What? Over at the post office. When? A couple of minutes ago. I ran all the way. Anyone hurt? Yeah, Mr. Parsons. Bad? He's dead. I was just walking by and I heard the shot. The time I got to him, he was dead. Did you see the killer? No, I had his horse out back and he just took off. Well, come on. Get up a posse and we go after him. Yeah. Any of you men want to go along? Yeah. Sure, count me in. I want to go after him. I'm sure it was the Montana kid. Who? The Montana kid. 
What makes you say that? I saw his horse, same pinto pony he always rides. You sure? Positive. Which way'd he go? Headed up into the canyon country. Never find him up there. We can try. No, it's suicide to go up there at night. Come on, Sheriff. Better wait till morning. He'll be gone by then. Chance we have to take. Can't let him get away I'm again. not going to lead a posse up there and have a lot of men get hurt. Maybe not even get her man. Maybe the sheriff's right. Well, I don't think so. Me neither. Now, listen to me. I'm for going without the sheriff. Yeah. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah. I can't stop you men from going. I can only tell you that I think you're making a mistake. Oh, and I don't want any part of two or three men getting killed. Okay, okay, go ahead. But don't say I didn't warn you. Reynolds, where do you think you're going? Can I go with him? You're going with me. Oh, but I... You heard me. You want to get one criminal locked up tonight anyway. Come on, Reynolds, wake up. I said wake up. Oh, you. Think you're going to sleep all day? What time is it? Six o'clock. Here's your chow. Can the wash first? Law prescribes that I feed you, that's all. <laughs> Holla when you're through. Call that grub, I'm through right now. Good enough for the likes of you. Mm. Tastes all right when you're here a couple of months. Did the posse get back yet? Huh? Did the posse get back yet? Be quiet, I'm working. I guess not. Why didn't you go, Sheriff? Well, you... you... Yell her? No. It was common sense. Oh. You'll see. What the... Morning, George. May, what are you doing up so early? Brought some food over for the boy. He's getting fed. I know, but that jail food ain't fit for human beings. Good enough for him. Morning, Tommy. Morning, May. How'd you sleep? Okay, guess. You can't come over here and run my jail, May. That's what I'm doing. Well, I'm not going to let you. You're not going to stop me. Well, who ever heard of... Won't do no harm. He's just a kid. Should be home with his mother. May. Now I... open up that door before this gets cold. Women ought to stay in the house where they belong. Thank you, George. Here you are, son. Oh, thank you, ma'am. Mr. Steele said to tell you he was going to see your ma this morning. Oh, Didn't he go nice. with the posse last night? No. Why not? I don't know. Guess he thought you were right. I was. Said he dropped by to see you before he went, Tommy. Well, thanks, me. Well, don't stand there with the door open. Your criminal might escape. Nothing to make light of, me. I'm just trying to show you how wrong you are. You don't know about these things. I know a good boy when I see one. They're either bad or they're good. George. This one's bad. <sighs> when are you going to learn? I've been in this business too long not to know him when I see him. I'm not thinking so much of the boy. It's his ma. I can't think of things like that. Well, you ought to. Sheriff had to think of that. There wouldn't be any justice done. <sighs> I'm telling you one thing, George Brennan. What? If you don't let that boy go, you needn't speak to me again. You've got no right to... Right or wrong, that's the way I feel. I'm sorry, May. I am, too. I gotta do what I know is right. <clears throat> Excuse me, May. Well, that's all right, Mr. Steele. I was just leaving, anyway. Morning, George. Hello, John. Just want to see Tommy a minute. All right. Don't know why everybody has to make such a fuss. Rather I come back later? <sighs> no, go ahead. Thanks. Hello, Tom. Yeah, hello, Mr. Steele. Thought I'd drop out to see your mother. Oh, me too, me, thanks. Anything you want me to tell her? Oh, just I'm okay. Don't worry. Sure, sir. And what, Tommy? Well, if you'd take a look in her wood box. <laughs> I understand. Oh, 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 oh. Must be the posse coming back. Yeah. Well, did you get him? 
We followed him up to Pendleton's Bluff. Yeah? He made a fight of it. Did you get him? He got away. Jed Carver's dead. And Davy Hart's got a slug in his hip. I told you. Yeah. We waited till sun up and combed those canyons. We couldn't find them. What are you going to do about it? Looks like you've done all we can. Oh, we have. What do you mean? One of us hit him. What? One of us stuck a bullet in him. How do you know? We found the place where he made his stand. Pool of blood a yard wide Maybe there. Maybe it was his horse. No hoof marks around. You can't get very far. No. What are you going to do? I'm going after him. Good, we'll get some... No, gun. this is a job for the sheriff. You can't go no on. No one else getting hurt. The sheriff? You heard me. All right. Yeah, nah. Use these for five years. Sure you want to go alone, George? Huh? You might need some help. I'd like to go along. Okay. But no more. That's all right with me. Have to use horses. Meet you in front of the White Swan in five minutes. I'll be there. <laughs> deputized Sam Taylor right there and told him to look after the Reynolds kid. Then I met Still and we took off. We were out at Pendleton's Bluff by midday and sure enough we found the pool of blood and some empty cartridges up with a table rock just like Sam and Harry said. We figured the Montana kid had head south along the canyon trail, that being the shortest way to the border. He had a day's start on us, but he is hurt bad and he wouldn't be moving fast. We followed the trail all the next day. There wasn't a sign of him. It was the middle of the third day. We were getting down to the big canyon country. It was hot and dry, not a living thing in sight. What do you think, George? Huh? I said, what do you think? Oh. He could have gone north. No. Hasn't been a trace of him for two days. I know. Okay. But it seems to he me... He had that... to come this way. hot. Yeah. Better find water soon. We will. Canteens are almost empty. Just as tough on him. Yeah, I guess so. As soon as we get up to that shadow, let's take a rest. A waste of time. Horses can't keep this up. Never catch him sitting in the shade. Lather's an inch thick on him now. Okay. Hope you're right about him heading south. I know what I'm doing. Yeah? Well, if he's sitting up north, getting patched up... The only way he could have come. All right. Ah, that shade feels good. Yeah. This is as good a place as any. Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, steady, steady. Hold it. Yeah. What are you doing? Just loosening the cinch. No. Why not? If we have to get out of here in a hurry. Okay, sorry, boy. Give me the canteen. Take it easy. Yeah. Swallow a piece. I know. <laughs> Even the water's hot. Go ahead. Thanks. <sighs> hey, you're right. Go on, boy. Take the stretch for yourself. Now I gotta sit down. That's better. Come on, George. Relax while you can. Don't need to. If you want to sit down, that's your worry. That's right. You're a strange one, all right. What do you mean? The lawman. Why? Can't figure you out. Don't try. Everything's so black and white for you. I don't get you. Well, the Reynolds boy... Leave him out of this. Okay. Now this. What? A couple of days ago, you wouldn't go after Montana. Now you won't even sit down. We better get going. But we just... We're wasting time. All right, George. I'll get the horse. Let 
Allez, bon, Hey, George. Huh? Come here a minute. What's the matter? Hurry up. What you got into you? Guess you were right. Fire. Yeah. Ash is still warm. Must have been here this morning. Yeah. He doesn't know he's being followed. Never would have made a fire if he'd have known. Can't be far ahead. No. Frisco. Right. Easy, boy. Easy. Okay. Here, boy. Stick close to the canyon wall. Yeah. Knew I was right. Just hope it's Montana. It's him, all right. Don't know who else would be out in this country. So dry you can see our dust for miles. You gotta take that chance. You better ease up. Horses will never stand this pace. Can't let him get away. If we lose a horse, we'll never catch him. Can't let him get away. Dawn soon. Yeah. These streaks of light in the east already. Yeah. Ooh. Let's stop and rest. No. You can't keep on like this. If he can, so can I. That's crazy. Can't let him get away. I don't know about you, but I'm going to stop. No. You just can't ride a horse this hard, George. It's either him or us, and I'm not going to break first. It's common sense to pace yourself. Last longer in the long run. He's not stopping. We don't catch him today. We'll catch him tomorrow when he's through. We've still got some strength. We've got to keep going. I'm stopping. Okay. That's better. Legs are stiff. Me too. Now, sit down and relax. Any water left? No. Use a drink. Sit down. Yeah. <sighs> Must have seen our dust yesterday. Why? Didn't see no fire during the night. Guess you're right. That means he'll keep moving. He can't last forever. Maybe we passed him in the dark. No. Why? If he knows we're after him, he'll move fast as he can. Yeah. <clears throat> Getting light. Yeah. Soon as we... George. Huh? What's the matter with the horses? Why? They're restless about something. Yeah. Someone's got them nervous. Up on that rock. Where? Over by the... Lion. Yeah. Wait till he gets near it. Put that gun down. What? Don't shoot. You're crazy. You want Montana to know where we are? It says us. Don't shoot, John. If you think I'm Start not... Start working over to the horses. I'll cover you. Yeah, but you... If I have to shoot, I will. Are you out of your Get mind? Get going. Okay. You there yet? Give me time, will you? Okay, I'm up. Hurry up. All right. Now cover me. I can make it. Don't shoot. Don't. What did you do that for? I'm sorry. I could have made it. Get a hold now of Now he knows where we are. George. If he gets away, it's your fault. Get a hold of yourself. Sorry I hit you, George. But it's okay. I waited as long as I could. I know. Our lives are worth more than catching Montana. Yeah. You all right now? I'm okay. Let's get out of here then. I haven't seen a sign of him since that dust cloud this morning. Yeah, I know. What do you think? He's up front somewhere. Sure. But where? We'll find him. He knows.
knows we're close now. Yeah. He can't hold out much longer. Must be made of iron. I guess so. As soon as we get up over this rise, I ought to have a clear look down the valley. Yeah. Hold it. Come on, boy. Keep your head up. Okay. Easy now. John. Huh? Sorry I let you in for all this. <laughs> I asked for it. I knew it was going to be tough. You knew? I've been on them before. Oh. Shouldn't have let you come. I wanted to. Yeah, Forget but... Forget it. Almost to the top. Uh-huh. Oh, boy. Oh, oh, oh steady. Oh, oh, steady. Oh, oh. See anything? Nothing. You? No. He's got to be out there. That's him. Get down. Where? Behind those rocks. Yeah. Where'd it come from? I don't know. Did you get hit? Nick me in the arm. You okay? Yeah, yeah. Now what? I'm going out again. What? You got to draw his fire. You're crazy. He won't let me get far. Can't shoot at him till we know where he is. Yeah. You watch the hills. Right. Come on, boy. Come on. Easy. You okay? Yeah. Did you see him? He's up on that ridge. Where? Why about that big boulder? Yeah. Wait a minute. What? Something's moving up there. Yeah. There he goes. He's going to run for it. Don't shoot, John. Huh? Want to take him alive if we yeah, can. Yeah, but we got... Come on. He's over the ridge now. Let's get up there. Yeah. Come on, boy. Take it easy. Huh? Don't want to give him anything to shoot at. When we get up there. Right. Take it easy, fella. Easy, easy. That. What is it? Deserted mine. I'll make a stand. Yeah. There he goes. Where? In that shack. Got him now. Listen, John, you cover me from here while I go down and flush him out. You can't do it alone. I gotta. Forget that law business. Huh? This isn't the Reynolds boy. This man's a killer. Gotta be this way. You'll never learn. Cover me. I'm coming in, kid. If you got any shooting to do, do it now. What do you say, kid? Want to throw your gun out? for it. Go ahead, shoot. You couldn't pull that trigger any more than I could. Help me, George. Where you hit? Chest. <coughs> Let's see. Yeah. I never thought... I never thought you'd take me in. Remember what Ma used to say. <laughs> Remember... Sin... <coughs> Sin... You boys stick together. 
remember? <coughs> yeah. <laughs> Never thought <laughs> you'd take me in. Well, I'm doing it, kid. You know why? I was letting you go, was making an evil land, evil man out of me. I guess I was making up for it by taking it out on every little sinner in the county. Might never have made up my mind, except I heard you was hit. Then I was afraid I wouldn't have a chance to square the record. Kid? I don't reckon I have to now. You all right, George? Yeah. There he is. Dead? Yeah. Put him over my saddle. No. I'll carry him. Still the law, man. Let's go. Was he alive when you went in? Yeah. Didn't even shoot. I guess... He ran out of ammunition. About that Reynolds kid. What? What do you think of him? Seems like a good boy. Yeah. Maybe we better forget all about him, huh? May'll be very happy. I guess so. Yeah, I guess so. Title, Trails End. And if you like George's story, friends, why not come back next week? I'll have a boy who knew the loneliness of the unwanted, but didn't have the courage to escape. I like to call it bleak furrows. So until next week, this is John Steele saying a life of adventure is yours for the asking, wherever you find it. Only don't look for it. It may find you. Well, goodbye and good hunting. This is the Mutual Broadcasting System.